Uh, Dr. Martin Young, uh, DVM, MS, uh, DACVIM in neurology, uh, Bush Veterinary Neurology uh, here in Richmond. So the, the two primary surgeries that, uh, that I've, I've used the Vetadel for, uh, disc surgeries, uh, most commonly, or the first time I pulled it out was L7, S1, and the conventional means, uh, gel foam and powders just didn't work. Uh, they, they weren't filling in the space, and then the, uh, uh, as the blood fills in, it's, it's just pushing the powder away from the, the site of hemorrhage, uh, whereas the Vetagel was able to fill in all the, the nooks and crannies, and just with a light application of uh, uh, gauze over the top, um, just gently pushing down. It filled everything, waited a couple minutes, and uh, easily suctioned everything back out and cleaned everything up. Hemorrhage was gone and didn't have any problems with the suction tubing uh, getting plugged or, or any difficulties there. And then the other primary case that, uh, that I use it for is brain surgeries. Uh, a lot of times that as you're removing a tumor, you'll get some small micro vessels that, uh, that want to bleed. And then also the dura can ooze a little bit and uh, the beta gel again, just because it, it fills all the nooks and crannies and easily just kind of molds into the space that or the defect that you've created and just allow it to let set there and then clean everything up. Uh, you don't have to worry about residual powders sitting anywhere if you didn't clean them up, nothing's clogging your suction hosing and, um, and it does a brilliant job of, uh, of hemostasis uh, in both of those applications. I, I think on kind of the short side of things where, where hemorrhage may be relatively easy to manage, you're probably saving a good five minutes. Um, I, I think on some of the, the difficult cases, like a brain case where you can't use cautery and, and some of your options are, are limited, uh, I would say you could probably be saving anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes on, on some of those more complicated cases. Yeah, so uh, spinal surgeries, um, the, those are kind of bread and butter for, for most neurologists, and uh, we're, we're probably doing um, probably five a week, somewhere in that range, five to seven a week. And then uh, craniotomies, um, generally one every six to eight weeks is probably the average. Um, so definitely it's a lot of time when you kind of consider adding that up over, uh, over the course of a year. Definitely, I think any any spinal fracture, any spinal surgery or any brain surgery that's going to potentially ooze. Um, absolutely. I think you could easily use this, fill the gaps and uh, in minimal time. And, and that's kind of the thing that impressed me is, um, you know, it was just, it was one application and I was basically done and uh, I didn't have to keep repeating the process of, of putting down a product and, and then having to suction that out and then clean things up and restart again. So um, I, I would say any spinal surgery would be fine on and definitely any brain. I walked out of uh, the first time I used it <clears throat> and told my colleague, I'm like, yeah, you've got to start using this uh, uh, any, anytime you're in a situation where you've got bleeding to deal with. Uh, it works so much better than what we've used in the past.